hydroplaning can be pretty scary, especially when you're driving on a curvy road on a mountainside with some heavy pouring rain. But one thing that'll keep you safer and prevent you from getting into a hydroplaning incident is to make sure your air tire pressure is the proper PSI. Air tire pressure affects the grip of the tires on the road, tire wear, and fuel economy, so it's very important to check your air tire pressure regularly, especially when you're gonna take a long drive or carry a heavy load. So how do you go about checking your air tire pressure? We're gonna show you how, along with using an air compressor to inflate your tires. So let's get cracking. The first thing you need to know is your car's recommended PSI. You can look up this information or find it in the inner part of your door. For my car, it's 34 PSI. So let's remember that number for later. When you're figuring out your air tire pressure, it's recommended to find the cold inflation pressure reading. And basically what that means is you take the reading when you haven't driven your car for about a half an hour to an hour and your tires are cold and not warm from driving. It tends to have a higher PSI or air pressure reading when the tires are warm. But if you need to inflate your tires when they are warm, inflate them to about three to four PSI above your car's recommended PSI. And then when they're cold again, check with the gauge. And if they're a little high, you can always take this and take a little air out. Now to check your air tire pressure, you can either use a gauge or compressor. Unscrew your tire's valve cap. Then fit the end of the rubber hose on the gauge or compressor into the tire's valve stem. You should initially hear a hiss of air and then nothing. The gauge or compressor's number should go up, and the number it lands on is the current PSI of your tire. This tire is 30 PSI on my gauge, so I'll need to add air to it. My gauge doesn't automatically zero out, and if yours is like that too, you can reset the gauge by hitting the pressure reset or air bleeder button. For my Stanley Fastmax Professional Power Station, it'll beep and flash to what your current PSI is after you set it to the recommended number. It says this other tire is 32 PSI, so I'll need to add air to this one too. Check the PSI for all four tires to determine whether you need to add air to it or not. Make sure to put back all of your tire valve caps after you're done checking. To inflate your tires, it's the same process as checking them. Turn on your compressor and leave it going until it reaches your recommended PSI. If you don't have a compressor, you can go to the gas station and fill your tires there. You'll have to pay for it, and you have a time limit. So take off all of your valve caps, check your tire's PSI, and then insert the coins. Fit the end of the rubber hose on the pump into the tire's valve stem. Again, you should hear a hiss of air, and then nothing. Squeeze the pump and air should flow into your tires. Now that your tires are inflated to their proper PSI, how often do you check it? And the answer is, every month. It's also recommended that you check your air tire pressure whenever the temperature drops 10 degrees Fahrenheit. For most passenger cars, air tire pressure decreases by one PSI each time the temperature drops 10 degrees. For commercial trucks, it's doubled to two PSI. Well, that pretty much sums up air tire pressure. And if this video helped, please give us a like. And if you're looking to learn more about cars or learn something entirely new, check out our how-to hub and subscribe. Your next video may even be right here. Well, I gotta go because it's a new month, so I gotta check my air tire pressure.